This is a very simple, easy to install part that uh, might add a little more safety to the nose gear. We're gonna call it the lip skid. This unit plugs into the bottom of the gear and increases the area uh, so it doesn't dig in as much. Um, it increases it from roughly a little over a half a square inch to a little over 10 square inches. It's sort of uh, akin to uh, an ice skate versus an ice pick. Um, it gives it something to slide on and something to support the front of the wheel pant, which is prone to hitting the ground. This, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen these on the forum before, but this is the one off of my airplane. My airplane's never been in the grass. And uh, this damage all took place prior to the installation of the nose job. So this new device should help this considerably. If nothing else, it'll keep the bottom of the gear leg from punching right through the, the wheel pant and digging into the ground. So this is made out of chromoly 4130. It's heat treated, plug welded from the bottom so it's nice and smooth. It's very, very simple to install. All that's required is you pull your cotter key out. You may have to take a, a die grinder and go up inside. Uh, usually there's a burr right around the edge here. I had to do this one. Usually it's just a small little burr and if you just, just go up in there and just go around once or twice, it takes it out. Once that's done, you take the new lip skid piece uh, and you just pop it in. Now we don't drill these uh, in the manufacturing process, primarily because some of the gear legs are the hole for the cotter key is drilled in different place. So once you put it in and line it up, all that's required is you take a drill and just spot the hole right th through the nut and go right on through and drill the hole through the new lip skid piece. And then you can reinsert the cotter key. All the cotter key actually does is hold it in place so it doesn't fall out. Uh, any action that this part would ever see is going to be this direction. So the cotter key really doesn't do anything other than just keep it in place so it doesn't fall out. Now, it's obvious that this gives you a lot more area for the bottom of the gear leg to slide on should it contact the ground or the dirt. Or even if you were to, the, say, the tire fall into a hole uh, that would typically mash the front of the wheel pant up into this gear leg where it would punch through about in this area. Um, it won't do it with this on there because of the close proximity of the lip skid to the front of the wheel pant. So when the wheel pant is in place, approximately right there, uh, the lip skid actually supports it. Uh, it's only got just a slight amount of clearance, so if you were to hit something on the ground here, this actually backs it up right through this area, keeps the gear leg from punching through. And it could potentially carry you across the hole so the tire could roll out rather than the thing snag and, and turn under. Uh, the part's only an eighth of an inch thick, so it doesn't use up any of your ground clearance. Piece of cake to install. And relatively inexpensive. So if you go to our website, antisplatarrow.com, you can see this piece, and if you are so inclined, you can order it. Uh, we're going to try to email most of our customers that have already 
purchased the nose job to inform them that this is out. We've had an awful lot of inquiries for this, and this isn't my idea. There was uh, three or four other people that I had seen posted um, that they had tried different devices or made different things. I saw them on the forums. Uh, we just took the idea and elaborated on it and made a pretty nice part. The O-ring here, there's an O-ring groove with, with an O-ring in it. And all the O-ring is for is so when this is installed, it makes it fit snug up inside the gear leg. Uh, so when you're flying and there's vibration, we wouldn't want this to rattle. If it rattles around, it could potentially wear through the cotter key and cause a problem. So that holds it pretty snug. And then the cotter key keeps it from falling out. And then you just put the front of your wheel pan back on and you're good to go. About a 10 minute installation. <laughs>